Welcome to this video application for the Danish Academy of Digital Interactive Entertainment. And here he is, the candidate for position of game or level designer. Weighing over 700 pounds with a body mass what? index of only 7%. This man is pure wrong! Well, I think that's about enough of physical me. Okay, okay. I want to make something special for this. Let me see. Um, well, I could make an awesome Gmod video showcasing my creative skills. Uh, now I have to be a bit more modest. Besides, my Gmod skills are a bit rusty. Let me see. What the ah! uh, well, maybe I could do something where I present the projects that I think are relevant for... What the... For Demacia. Um, I think you got the wrong place, buddy. I didn't order any package. Vile scourge. The scoundrels will pay. I will lead the charge. Ow. Uh, might as well dive right into it then. For my bachelor project in humanistic informatics, we did a comparative analysis between the games League of Legends and Heroes of New Earth. The main point of the project was basically to find some clue to how League of Legends got so popular compared to Heroes of New Earth when they're almost the same game just with some different graphics and heroes. Ah yes, succession. For my seventh semester in interactive digital media, my group and I work with uh, interactive narratives. In the project we struggle with the whole... well... <laughs> narrative can't be interactive because then players could change the author's original story and basically do whatever they wanted. However, we meant that an interactive narrative could be possible and therefore we created our own concept for an interactive narrative. Succession. It is a bit like Game of Thrones. The king is near death and therefore the player has to figure out who's going to succeed him. So the player gets put right in the middle of the kingdom's political intrigues. While working with the concept, we came up with a model of how to construct interactive narratives, which we named the Squid Model. This model was meant to create freedom for the player, so he could make meaningful decisions that actually affect the story, but still have a predetermined destination in the story, which in our case was the crowning of a new king. Hmm. Or maybe I should just talk about why I want to make games in the first place. Well, I want to create something. It's as simple as that. I want to make stories, I want to make universes that are amazing and captivates people. And that's what makes games so amazing. You're not just watching some story unfold on your TV, you're right in the middle of it. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I, one of my biggest dreams is to one day become a creative director and then just make one of the worlds that are in my head. Of course I know that if I get into Daddyo, I'll be a game designer or a level designer, but those aspects are so crucial too. Everything in the making of a game has to come together to create a bigger image. You don't just get a castle by making a tower or a gate. You need walls to bind everything together. What I'm trying to say is that... Uh, oh, stupid line, but... Um, I don't really want to be a game designer, Daddy. 